Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. In this uh, series, uh, we are going to uh, see the protein tertiary structure prediction by X-ray diffraction uh, and cryo electron microscopy. It is the 28th series. A previous series are available in the Pharma Topics channel. Kindly go through it. How XRD is useful in protein structure prediction. X-ray crystallography is a form of a very high resolution microscopy that facilitates visualization of protein structures at the atomic level. Visible light uh, has a longer wavelength than the distance between the atoms, hence cannot be used to observe the atomic distance. <clears throat> Electromagnetic radiations like X-rays have a wavelength on the order of bond lengths. So in this, uh, you can see this. Here is the source of uh, X-rays. So the, here uh, the rays come, and uh, here the protein uh, is made as a film. And then the single protein crystal, uh, the diffracted rays are taken into consideration. <coughs> that is documented, and it reveals the three-dimensional structure of the protein. So. Uh, the protein has to be crystallized, then the data has to be collected, it has to be analyzed, then the next step is phase determination, then uh, electron density map calculation, model building and uh, refinement, and finally it has to be validated. So it is uh, a clear picture of uh, what is XRD. In light uh, and the electron microscopy, the diffracted uh, beams uh, form the subject irradiated with the light are collected, focused, and the image of the object is enlarged. The diffraction pattern is then recorded by using detectors like uh, X ray sensitive film or charge coupled device. The crystallographic structures uh, provide an at electron density map that indicates uh, location of electrons in the molecules in a crystal structure the electron density map is interpreted in terms of atomic uh, model with the help of semi automatic computational techniques then the algorithms used in uh, xrd protein uh, structure prediction in generating the protein crystal structure at a high resolution first the protein is uh, purified and crystallized crystals are then mounted uh, using a capillary or a tube in a way that the sample can be rotated. The macromolecular crystal uh, is uh, then hit by the X-rays and gets scattered because of the atoms present in the molecules. They are combined to give a complex uh, diffraction pattern of waves of different amplitudes. The crystal is uh, rotated usually with one degree uh, every one degree and the diffraction pattern reduced rotational angle is used to visualize each spot. The origin of each wave is determined and summed in three dimensions. Summing of these waves is a three dimensional jigsaw puzzle with the amino acids as pieces. This provides an image of uh, the electron density distribution of the molecule in the crystal if the coordinates or a similar protein is available to match the experimental data. Then amplitudes and phases of uh, diffraction data are computed and combined with the available data to produce an electron density map that is analyzed by the scientists to obtain the final structure. The initial model is built based on trial and error method which is improved by the refinement process. The resultant structure is stored in the protein data bank as coordinates as well as the structure. There is no size limitation on protein or protein complex that X-ray crystallography or diffraction can resolve. See, in case of NMR, we said uh, proteins with, uh, with less than 100 kilo Daltons could be uh, predicted. More than that, it could not predict. So, whereas in case of XRD, larger proteins uh, structures could be resolved. X-ray crystallography method is used to uh, for proteins molecules above 500 to 100, 50 to 100 kilodaltons. Crystallographic images are static 
and by using uh, nmr flexibility of uh, proteins and the dynamics can be studied for a protein structure both accuracy and precision are important the correctness of a structure can be determined on the basis of uh, protein folding rules and their folding properties if a structure is found inconsistent with the biochemical or biological information about the protein is said to be correct unlike nmr which provides information on the dynamic properties of proteins in solution xrd provides a static atomic level uh, details of the protein structure in crystalline form x-ray crystallography has been a fundamental technique for elucidating the structures of uh, numerous proteins and biomolecules it has uh, provided valuable insights uh, to understand the protein function interaction mechanisms and remains uh, one of the most powerful methods for high resolution protein structure determination however it is essential to acknowledge that some proteins may not readily form crystals in such cases complementary techniques like nmr or cryo electron microscopy may be employed to obtain the structural information so let us see the complementary method that is cryo electron microscopy what is cryo electron microscopy cryo electron microscopy is a revolutionary technique that has transformed the field of structural biology by allowing the determination of high resolution structures of large biomolecules including proteins even in their native state without the need for crystal formation it involves the following steps sample preparation the first step uh, the sample has to be prepared um, it has to be stabilized with a suitable buffer the protein sample is uh, applied to a thin grid and rapidly frozen in liquid ethane or nitrogen preserving it in a vitrified amorphous ice state so it will appear like this so you will have to keep the samples uh, in nitrogen as mentioned uh, here it has to be uh, taken then a grid has to be prepared then it has to be seen in the electron microscope where it will have an electron gun condenser lens a uh, specimen uh, objective aperture information lens fluorescence screen so they pick the, the uh, it, these uh, it causes 2d uh, projections which is uh, which it can capture then it aligns and averages these structures according to their 3d dimension then it builds a 3d map so it creates a 3d model which is more accurate so uh, then the data has to be collected first the sample has to be prepared the data has to be collected uh, based on the projection of images then image processing the collected 2d projections are subjected to image processing and uh, 3d reconstruction uh, following this then 3d reconstruction Uh, in this method individual particle images are uh, computationally sorted and classified and uh, 3d reconstruction of the protein uh, density is done then refinement uh, the based on the data the to improve the resolution and uh, quality sophisticated uh, techniques are used uh, that is cross linking data symmetry information these things could be added to this then model building and uh, validation by using softwares like uh, coot and phoenix and they are used uh, for uh, model building and validation cryo electron microscopy has been transformative in the study of challenging biological systems including large membrane proteins molecular machines and dynamic protein complexes uh, its ability to provide near atomic resolution structures has significantly advanced our understanding of protein function and has opened new avenues for drug discovery and biotechnology applications so it's a very short information of xrd and uh, cryo electron microscopy which is used in protein structure prediction i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends if you like this video kindly press the like button kindly subscribe to our pharma topics channel go through all the series uh, of videos which is available in the pharma topics channel
and score well in your exams thank you